Good morning from Ningbo and wherever you are in the world, um, this should be kind of cool. We're going to be talking about weapons and scrubs, actually more about scrubs than weapons, right? So I'm going to show you the cheese grater, right, which we kind of whipped up for Ray Burke, but we also understand that it's fully compatible with a reach around, okay? And Mario came up with an idea for traditional that I could put a scrub and just carry it in my pocket, right? So we're going to go through that. In the meantime, I'll show you. It's actually a little bit, a little bit messy because it's going to rain this afternoon. But you can just check out the view. It's kind of nice, right? It's nice to live in a place. Todd Gibbings is here. Good morning, sir, from Perth, Australia. Yeah. Okay, so here's the logic. A traditional window cleaner will attempt to clean the... You've probably heard all this, Todd, because I was there in Perth last week, and this is just kind of a little recap of some of those things. When a traditional window cleaner hits the glass... Do I have a mop? No, I took them all to the factory. <coughs> um, he uses a mop. If the mop doesn't... If you can't see the... G'day, Doug. If the mop doesn't work efficiently and quickly, he'll, he'll pull out what's called a porcupine mop. It's a, it's a mop with um, fibers embedded in it, right? The, the difference between the other mops is basically how much water they carry, but that doesn't really apply to us with water fed, right? So, um, but we're dealing, we're actually making new mop covers now. We've, we've briefed it all and we know exactly how we want to sort of tackle this part of the market to make a better mop for traditional or mop cover at this point. Anyway, back to scrubs, right? So the traditional guy, if the, if the porcupine doesn't work, he's going to go to white non-scratch pad. If white non-scratch pad doesn't work, he's going to go to steel wool or bronze wool. Right, and then he's going to pull out a squeegee. So basically, he's using a different, a more aggressive agitator to get the concretions, excretions, or, con or pollutions into suspension. Usually, salt is different, salt goes into solution, but into suspension in a liquid. And then he's going to take the liquid off, which in this case, with traditional, is a squeegee. Right. So if, if, the, if the steel wall and bronze wall don't work, then he's going to go to a stainless steel blade or a plastic blade, which we have now. Right. So so when, pardon me, itchy nose. Um, so when we talk about using um, water fed, you know, when I got back in, back in 2006, I got involved. I did the British Window Cleaning Academy course with Craig Morland from Ionix. I went over to the UK, spent the whole week with him and Ruben and spent a fantastic time and they taught me a lot. And then, uh, and, and back in those days, when you got a water fed pole, it came with a brush. In fact, probably Ionix pretty much still works the same way. So the pole and the brush are integral. Now I believe that the pole and brush are completely opposite, right? The, the brush is juxtaposed against the mop and the squeegee. And the pole, hey Jacob, um, the pole is juxtaposed against the ladder. So you can't clean a window with a pole, you clean a window with a tool. And you use the pole, instead of climbing the ladder to put the, to pole, to, sorry, to put the tool on the glass, you, you extend a pole to put the tool on the glass. So what we can learn from traditional, right, is that the brush replaces the mop and the squeegee. Yeah, and this is a window weapon, by the way. Yeah, it's still got a constructor brush logo on it, but that's because it's an early generation. So the brush is what replaced, this is what cleans glass. And so there's a lot of focus and, you know, oh, this pole, that pole, blah, blah, blah. Like, like I think we make, you know, a great pole design but the actual composition of poles is we're limited to you know 24t 40t 46t 60t there's different levels of carbon fiber that we can buy technically that we were all limited to the same basic product so it's who designs the pole that's more ergonomic who designs the pole that's more easy to use who designs the pole that's lighter at each height that you use it you know who designs blah 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 right so it's the design of the pole not the reach of the pole but that's another story I'm not here to talk about that I'm talking about weapons and scrubs so what we've done Mario came up with this idea and he said I love your scrubs but then he showed me a video of him grabbing out of his rag bag grabbing a, a white non-scratch pad or grabbing some steel wool and he puts his hand on it like this and he said what if I could get the scrubs and they were on a block with a handle. Now this handle is not very ergonomic, so I don't like it. So we're gonna, I've sent the sourcing team off to find a more ergonomic handle, but the principle is here where you can see it. This one's gonna go off to Mario, so I thought I'd make a video, right? So we're gonna have a pouch that he can carry on his belt with a slot so that the handle will go into the slot so he can just flick a finger underneath and pull it out of the pouch and he can have his window weapons when he's doing 
his scrubs when he's doing traditional as useful for him because we've got like stainless steel wool you know if he wants to put on our white non-scratch pad doesn't quite look like this anymore because they kind of got shorter when we stitched them but they're now they're just a solid white non-scratch pad but he can put a white non-scratch pad on and it's more ergonomic than pushing against his fingers we had an amazing meeting with um, Craig Morlam, who's experiencing also, uh, not Craig Morlam, Craig Hardman, who's experiencing all sorts of pain in his arms and forearms and fingers, and his doctor, his physio, Peter Thomas is here. Yes, the old bourbon and coke conversation coming up right here, right now. And the doctor was telling him that we're not using these parts of our muscles when we're using our tools, right? So we're not exercising our fingers properly. That was fascinating, a whole conversation which we could get into with Craig, right? So the logic is that we're uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we don't like we, we want to capture your ideas. We want to, right? Because we think that if it's good for one, it could be good for a hundred. And it, and and the way social media goes and is proven, if it's good for a hundred, it's absolutely shit for two. And it's those two that are going to tell the world, right? So that's that's the way I've. This so is my final conclusion, right, about social media. But. This is our vehicle to tell you what we're doing. You can follow us. We'll try and get the, 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 the nick nogs off, right? I don't know what that word is, but the bad ones, you know. So, um, so here we go. This is, um, this is a, 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 a handheld pad. Now, the same, like some dude says, I don't like this, I like tucker. Okay, so if you like tucker, you're gonna have what's called a reach around, right? It's got a Euro thread here, it's got, and then you can have a look at the DA components. This is compatible with the DA components um, system. Now, I've offered these to Darren, so Darren can pick us up on them. We've told him, you know, what his margins are. If he buys the scrubs, he wants to keep using his blocks. I've made 200 blocks. I actually have already sent some of these blocks to Ray Burke from Spray Wash Academy and Spray Wash Pro, right? An amazing program, right? And with Ray, he's using them. Actually, he's using it with this one. We made him, we actually made him a custom pad, right? Because he's taking off hydrocarbons but he needs force, we think. He's got to take hydrocarbons off, so we've given him an increased surface area of microfiber by look at using this kind of little worm-style microfiber. It's a custom product for him. He can f fit this, he's got a reach at mini, he can fit this into his reach at mini, and he can have this being applied with the chemical that he's using on the, on the, on the uh, 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 AccuBond, right? Okay, and here it is, so you can do that. You can have it with a fixed angle if you wanted to, um, you could put a side to side on it. I don't think so because I think you'll lose your force in the flex uh, in the in the in the pivot. However, um, or if you've got a reach around, you can just say, okay, send me one of these blocks with a with a euro thread and send me a pack of scrubs that I want, and then you can flip flip. I think it's inefficient, but you know, if it works for you, it works for you. Some people like Apple, some people like Samsung, some people like Ford, some people like Buick or whatever, and some people drive Mercedes and BMWs and think that that is also special you know so so you know it's fine if you don't like one thing of ours another thing of theirs their something of theirs you like something of ours you know it's just about us trying to create solutions that don't exist right now and these are cheap compared to wrapping a nine by six piece of material around and you know screwing it up you know Okay, these are much, much cheaper way of doing it. So they're there if you want them. We haven't got them in the store yet, but leave me some comments if you're interested in trialing if you're a tucky user or something like that. You know, maybe we can do a little deal. We don't do it, we don't want to do it anything for free because the free people, I just had one today, I sent a guy $400 worth of stuff a day and then he said it broke, but he never ever contacted me that it had broken, you know. So sometimes people who get stuff for free don't, don't respect it. So let's have a look at this. This is another one we just brought out, chain mesh, right? So it's a, the, the, the mesh is actually rounded. It won't scratch glass, right? Because there's no sharp edges, but it's again on the same principle as what we call the cheese grater. Oh, that's bronze wool. That's that, that's that. I'll show you the cheese grater. In, in Perth, it was funny, right? This is it. This one here, we took off categorically in front of 27 people, bee poo comes off. It takes some agitation, but it comes off with what they ultimately called the cheese grater, right? It's um, it's it's nearly stainless steel. It is stainless steel, but it but it's got just got a little, you know, potential to rust. So you got to look after them a little bit. Okay, 
but that is your cheese grater and that'll definitely take off bee poo. It definitely takes off paint over spray because we, we've done that at the factory, but we don't have bee poo here. So that's another story. If you're dealing with hydrocarbons, you'd use microfiber and a detergent. The detergent will break down the hydrocarbon and if it's a spot-free detergent, then you're fine to go. The bee poo grater. So that's why um, Ray Burke is dealing with, micro, with hydrocarbons. So we sent him a microfiber with more surface area. Yeah. We made another guy who remains anonymous, a 24 inch solar brush out of this rubberized pad. Because if you've noticed that toothbrushes, if you spend seven to $10 on a toothbrush, you'll notice that it's not all nylon bristles anymore. So there's some logic in getting you know, rubber on glass. It's got a much bigger stick, but the water acts as a, as a, the water acts as a surfactant and makes sure that it can glide across glass. No different if you haven't brushed your teeth and you really need to, you go, this kind of squeaks across the glass as well, the same sort of way. Yeah, or if you're rubbing your baby's gum with, with painkillers. So we've got stainless steel wool, we've got steel wool, we've got microfiber, we've got bronze wool, we've got the American bronze wool coming over, you know, from GMT, Lustachine, we've got some of that I've bought and that's coming over to be processed. And white non-scratch pad. And so the idea will be if you're, you know, tucker oriented you and, and reach around, then you'll be able to, you know, fit this to your existing kit and use scrubs if you want, or um, if you're looking to apply a chemical and you just want a simple application pad, you know, then you'll be able to use our angle adapter straight into the reach it pole and then just a fixed angle operation. And then Mario's idea is to have a handheld so the same scrubs that you're using on your window weapon are able to be used in your traditional. We're gonna make a pouch and a, on a belt clip that you'll be able to slide in there. And um, send me the hand, we haven't made, we've only made one's handheld so far and one for pole along with variety of pads. Send me handheld and one for pole along with variety of pads. Hmm. Private message that one, Gene, because I can't understand that one. Handheld we haven't made yet. This is just for Mario, but it's gonna come. Um, and then this one we have, but that means you're a, like a reach around tucker, like, because in my opinion, the idea of going flip, 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 flip is so inefficient when you can go agitate, rinse, agitate, rinse, agitate, rinse with a window weapon. Like it doesn't make any, it really doesn't make any sense to me. The only thing I'll point out about window weapon is that we are bringing out a, a deep frame window weapon for the guys who are doing commercial work so that this, this is perfect design, by the way, if you're on low profile windows, because you can't put this stuff on a, on a frame. It'll tear it up, right? So the bristles go over the frame, so you're cleaning the frame at the same time as the window. This goes all the way to the edge, you know, within a you know, quarter of an inch. It goes all the way to the top within a quarter of an inch of a low profile. However, on a deep frame, obviously, the, the, you know, you've got to turn it on its side, you know, that way. If you're, if you're close enough to the window, you can do that with a side to side. Um, but we're going to make a... Uh, an end cap here so that really we've got this pad right up against a deep frame just so you know what's that's coming man we've got so much coming this year so much coming all right what does nick say nick a handheld scrubber yeah okay well we're gonna buy some handles i've but at the moment we can't find the handles on their own so i said we'll go and buy some paint you know paint sanders and we'll just if they've got the screw there we can just take the block off and put our block on and away we go Oh, okay. Yeah, just PM me, Gene, and I'll, I'll work out something. That's what we're looking for. But if you give me what the application is, how big you want the block to be, you know, what you're trying to achieve with it, then, you know, we can try and customize it. All right. How's that? That's exciting, right? I saw the first generation prototype of Wash It Pro 2 yesterday, which is kind of like an off-roader, um, off-roader RODI system, you know, 4040. And then, oh, anyway, we've got... We've got 3D prints of a whole lot of stuff going on. Yes. Gutter brush. Gutter brush is sticking in my mind every every week, I think. Gutter brush, gutter brush, gutter brush. I haven't solved it yet. I'm, I mean, I just don't want to do something that's not clever. You know, I've got a whole lot of not clever answers. Um, but, um, but I want to, you know, I kind of keep myself under pressure and say, no, 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 there's got to be a clever way to do that gutter brush. And now we've got a really clever engineer who's able to capture my thinking a little bit better than, than the other one that we've had. So it may well be after we get these, this round of products out, which, you know, hopefully we'll be able to lock everything down in the next, in the next two weeks, um, then all the production engineering is done for the, for the new products for 2019. And then, uh, and then we'll be, you know, having a look at that gutter brush because it's definitely one of the, the hot ones. A gutter brush and a sill brush are the two that we want to play with. Sill brush for Lee Burbage.
Yes, in the UK. All right, any questions before I go? Sometimes those questions are invaluable. Some guys are able to ask a question that other guys are thinking or haven't thought that they haven't thought. So then they, when somebody asks them, they go, oh, good question. So it's all about scrubs and window weapon. Yeah, window weapon is like a, a, a killer. One of the things I pointed out to everybody in Perth is, is absolutely to understand the pounds per square inch of pressure that's required for you to apply force so that your aggressive agitation is gonna actually make a difference. A, a window weapon is based on the bronze brush because the bronze brush was incredibly successful, had 12 square inches. Now this is actually bigger than 12 square inches, but there's a curve on the block underneath so that it's not applying the whole block at once. So it's 12 square inches of, of, of pad. And if you go and buy something that looks like a window weapon, which is like a nine by six, it's 54 square inches of pad with a Bissell carpet cleaning um, squirt bar on the top. 54 you know, divided by 12 is 4.5. To get the same effect as a window weapon with that tool, you have to press 4.5 times harder or you'll get, with the same amount of pressure, you get 4.5 times less aggressiveness. That's why we use our fingers as window cleaners on our white non-scratch pad and our stainless steel wall. We're using our fingers and applying the pressure from a very small area. That's why uh, a mop is not a square or a hexagon or whatever it's round and some of them you'll see some of the shapes if you actually study it side on you'll see the designers trying to look to say how do i apply you know the pressure from the side no kangaroos here buddy <laughs> the, the side of the 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 mop you know how do i get the pounds per square inch right because the bigger you make something like this one it might be okay for solar panels but the pounds per square inch on this is a fraction of the pounds per square inch on that yeah, so it's really, really important. A, you want to be able to increase the aggressiveness of your agitator, and B, you want to make sure that the pressure that you're using doesn't burn your shoulders out, burn your arms out, damage your wrists, and end up with you making money today and being a cripple when, when you go to enjoy it, okay? Sweet, all right, that's my pitch. Good times, okay? I'll be back again soon.